Good evening. What is even going on in this video? I'm in a completely different room. Actually, my ring light just like died. Now this look is actually inspired by the fact that I was going through all of my old videos, like old, old videos that aren't even on my channel anymore, like 2012. And I came across my Queen Bee photo, which actually never even had a tutorial that I can remember of. And so I decided that I really wanted to redo it and see what I could actually do today or like what I would do if I would have done it, you know, today with that mindset of a long time ago. And as an added bonus, you guys are also going to be getting a hair tutorial in this video, which I don't normally do on the Made You Look channel. And actually when I first started this video, I'm like, Maybe this is more of a beauty video. Maybe this should go on my beauty channel. And then I'm like, you know what? Multiple things are happening here. First off, my queen bee started off on my Made You Look channel. And second, I know people are gonna be like, oh, I'm afraid of holes, oh, I'm afraid of bees. So fears, there I go, boom, done, Made You Look. And like I said, you guys are gonna be getting a hair tutorial. I feel so, so puffy. And you guys can all thank New Me for sponsoring the hair portion of this tutorial. Sponsor plug, ready? They provided their Lustrum set. It's kind of like the three-in-one, except you get the five-in-one, you also get a pouch where you can keep all your wands in, it's fancy. And and as a bonus bonus, we actually got two discount codes. Two discount codes, because Luxbots are cool. One is Haunted and one is Made You Glam, but I'll put those in the description below because you're not going to remember those. Without further ado, all the products that you say will sit somewhere on the video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. I'm starting off by painting on my honeycomb pattern. Yes, they do sell stencils for this, but I prefer to hand paint things. And I'm using light tan body paint. You guys can pick where you want your patches of honeycomb to go. I'm doing some on my forehead next to my eye and then also on the other side on my cheekbone. Using an angled brush and light brown eyeshadow, I'm then shading each honeycomb only to one side. This is beginning the shading of each one to make them look more three-dimensional. I wanted to keep all the colors for the honeycomb in this application more of a skin tone so it looks more like it's flesh. To shade them even deeper, I'm taking a dark brown eyeshadow and then also going along the edges. Don't blend this out just as much. To add a little bit of extra dimension, you could also add a highlight and I'm using white body paint to fill in the opposite side. To give the honeycomb some dimension away from my face, I'm then taking light brown eyeshadow and going very close to the honeycomb. Everything with working in little detail you want to make sure is nice, little, clean, and precise. If you'd like to give it an extra pop, you could also add a highlight to the opposite side of that, as well as highlight some of the outline of sections of the honeycomb. Using dark yellow body paint, I'm then going to fill in some of the honeycombs. It really doesn't matter which ones you fill in. Fill in as many or few as you want. And if you cover up any of that depth shading, go ahead and go back over that using the brown eyeshadows. I also made some leaky ones. And use the same yellow body paint to ooze out some of the honey as well as shading it with light brown body paint on one side and highlighting it with white body paint. Now don't stress out about detail on the bee. They are so small and no one's gonna be coming up to your face with like a magnifying glass. I'm starting the bees by painting their yellow stripes and then filling in a brown head with a little black eyeball, adding its black stripes as well as its white outline of wings. Now for the wings, if the colors mix together a little bit from the bee, that's totally fine because wings are actually see-through. All the bees are done using body paint are pretty much done the same way, just in different positions on my face. For my eyes, I'm using a nude primer and then filling in my eyebrows. Taking my flat eyeshadow brush, I'm using white shadow and putting it underneath my eyebrow as well as in my inner corner. I'm then applying a very light brown to my crease, pretty much the same brown that I use to shade everything else.
Now I'm only applying yellow shadow on the one side where the honey leaked down and went across into my crease. I know, I know. So creative. To deepen that up, I'm adding dark brown to my outer corner and I'm doing that on both eyes. As well as adding that white shadow to my lips. Apply your liquid liner in a cat eye or bee sting type shape. It's a bee stinger or not a bee sting. For my lips I just dabbed on a little bit of yellow body paint and then also outlined that with black body paint and blended it together. I then went ahead and added in all of my bees where it would have maybe interfered like on my lips and then also the honeycombs on my chest and added bees to that as well. Now my hair is pretty fine but super long so I do divide it into three separate sections but right now just the bottom section and clip everything out of your way. Now this wand heats up really fast and will also curl your hair really fast. If you've never used a Numi wand before, the way that I remember which hand to wear the glove on, if you're working on your right side, wear it on your right hand. If you're working on your left side, wear it on your left hand. You're then gonna use the opposite hand to go behind yourself with the curling iron and wrap your hair around it. And I'm seriously not messing around when I say this wand will curl your hair fast, so really, don't leave it on there for super long. And to curl my hair for this look, I'm using the 25 millimeter, which is only one out of the five that come in this set, which pretty much are all the curling irons that you need, like if you need more than five irons. And to be honest, I'm pretty lazy when it comes to curling my hair so what's nice is that when my hair is curly it is still in the next day and probably the next day. I've never gone longer than two days because my hair gets greasy so I have to wash it. But like I said we were given two coupon codes so if you guys want to use Made You Glam you can get $100 off any new me set. And if you use the code HAUNTED you can get 40% off new me site plus free shipping to the US and Canada. Numi also sponsored their argan oil, which I've been using for like two years now. And I seriously just take so little in my hand and just fluff up my hair. I feel like it helps add like shine back in there because when you use a lot of hairspray when you curl your hair, it can get like dull. And pretty much you can do whatever you want with these curls because they're not going anywhere. Like seriously, give yourself a head massage. And after giving myself curls, I also decided I wanted to make my eyes look a little more fierce and add some black underneath them. As well as adding some gold honey dripping from my lips. I love honey. <laughs>